Welcome back to a brand new video everyone. We are beginning to see car makers battery plants being shattered as raw material costs are soaring. We have previously spoken about lithium a lot but one raw material which is slowly beginning to make the headlines now but still going under the radar is manganese. Manganese has seen an increased demand over the past years with a push towards electrification and EVs. And about 88% of manganese ore is used to produce alloys for steel production. But more recently, there has been renewed interest in downstream manganese processing based on the anticipated growth of manganese in lithium ion batteries. And this is how serious this is guys, as Elon Musk himself reaffirmed Tesla's interest in using manganese in the development of EV batteries stating that they think there is an interesting potential for manganese as it is relatively straightforward to do a cathode that's two thirds nickel and one third manganese which will allow them to make 50% more cell volume with the same amount of nickel. And VW's Frank Bloom also reaffirmed the growing importance of manganese stating that manganese is much cheaper than nickel and hence the focus on the chemistry is in essence representing an optimum cost-benefit ratio. So some huge potential here while the momentum is still gathering. We've previously spoken about Australian EV mineral stocks but we are in this video taking a pause on the Australian gems for one moment and going all the way to Canada which is very quietly delivering some of the best EV mineral stocks right now. In fact, these two bangers which I have for you today are arguably the best performing EV mineral stocks yet to date. Some huge outlook here guys and one of them has recently acquired a major asset in manganese. So huge potential out there with these ones which you don't want to snooze on. So make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss out on any of these. And I also want to give out a big shout out to you all who engage with the content and share your ideas either in the comment sections below, following me on Twitter or in the Discord so we can bring out some good content for the community. So make sure you join us and follow us on there for live market updates. So please drop me a line in the comment sections below and let me know what EV mineral stocks you're watching right now. And I've also partnered with the Wealth Research Group to bring you some of the best insights on hypergrowth stocks with over a thousand percent potential through this free newsletter. I have deep respect for their reports given the level of deep research that goes into their work. So please click on the link in the top pinned comment or in the description below to grab your free copy of this report which provides you with hypergrowth stocks which you need to be aware of right now. Again, that's absolutely free guys. And also remember that a decent platform to trade some of these lithium penny stocks which are listed on the OTC or on the Canadian exchange is Interactive Brokers which is a low cost and award winning platform allowing you to trade over 135 markets. And what I really like about the platform which you can see here from my portfolio is that you can access some of the top EV supply chain stocks but directly from the global markets with limited orders. And so if you need a decent platform with low fees enabling you to trade globally in challenging times like this then you certainly want to check out IBKR from my link below. And that said, please drop a quick like on the video and hit the bell so we can get on with it with our first stop here which is Patriot Battery Materials Inc. Ticker number on the OTC PMETF and on the Canadian exchange PMET which is now sitting flat at over $3.33 per share with a market cap of $289 million. And despite all the market debacle in the first half of 2022, it has delivered some stellar returns being up 691% year to date. And given the over 50% pullbacks which it recently had in July, it has since fully recovered and is already pushing towards new highs. And this to me talks of the resilience and the potential in Patriot which the market has in it. Again, it is going under the radar here guys. And as we always aim to buy low and sell high, any pullbacks here will present some decent entry points. So let's find out what's so special about Patriot and how much further they can go. Patriot Battery Metals is a mineral exploration company focused on the acquisition and development of mineral properties containing battery, base and precious metals. And the company's flagship asset is a covered property located in the James Bay region of Quebec, Canada. And the land package holds significant lithium potential. They also received the final approval from the Toronto Venture Exchange to lease their common shares on the platform effective July 14, 2022 and trading under their current symbol PMET, PMET. Patriot also announced the results of their preliminary metallurgical test work on a composite sample collected from their CV5 spodumene pegmatite at their flagship Covert property. And the results from the CV5 pegmatite samples showed an over 6% lithium dioxide spodumene concentrate at a very high lithium recovery exceeding 70%. And this is huge and significant because 
These recoveries are significantly higher than those of certain peer projects being advanced globally. So a significant competitive advantage here over the long term from a cost, value and product quality perspective. And although these results are only an indication of the performance in operation, they are a strong indication as a primary driver for lithium recovery. And Blair Way, their CEO commented that, these preliminary methodological results are a significant milestone for the COVID project due to the potential ripple effects of a core spodumen grain size. And so developing new mining operation is not just about exploration geology, but also producing a marketable product in a sustainable way and the risk in the project development path. Grinding is normally the most power intensive part of a spodumen concentrate flow sheet. And so the coarse nature of the spodumen from the initial samples laid the foundation of a potentially robust and cost effective process flow sheet. How interesting. Next up is Infinity Stones Ventures, ticker number on the OTC, TLOF, TLOF, and on the Canadian exchange, GEMS Germs, and it is a germ indeed, guys, which is currently sitting at 16 cents per share with a market cap of $11 million. So, still a very tiny market cap here, even after the explosion in the share price year to date being up by over 1500%. Whoa. Some people could be blind to the opportunity presented here by thinking that the only way is down with this one, but the journey on this place are yet to even begin. And I feel that there's another 10x upside on the table for this one should they execute to their plans. So please do your DD and if you like their story, you wait for any decent pullbacks so you can jump in when the price is right for you. So here's what's new. Infinity Stone's mission is to be a diversified single source supplier for the critical energy metals being used in the clean energy revolution alongside their established SaaS solution portfolio. They are meeting the demand from battery and wind turbine manufacturers, nuclear, hydrogen energy producers and energy metal speculators by acquiring 100% interest in critical mineral deposits in stable mining friendly jurisdictions close to final use destinations in North American manufacturing hubs. And Infinity announced that they had acquired an option to acquire the Thor Magnetite project on the Magdalene Islands in Quebec. And the property, covering 698 hectares in two blocks, is highly prospective for manganite, an important manganese ore mineral. And these Quebec manganese mines have reported to have intersected significant manganese mineralization. And Zane Kalyan, the CEO of Infinity Stones, added that over the past months, they have been actively working to acquire strategic and well positioned battery metal projects that align with their goal of being an aggregator and owner of energy metals mineral deposits that will be in strong demand in the near future. So with the addition of this property, they would have acquired 5 of 6 stones and they are actively working to round out their portfolio with the acquisition of the 6th. So one certainly to watch out here on what that portfolio composition looks like and their outlook. So some very very interesting and mind blowing prospects I have for these lithium stocks, but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation, but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I'd love to hear from you, so please let me know your thoughts on these top penny stocks in the comment sections below and what other penny stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.